All right, so to quickly, uh, to quickly recap um, the last video, right, very quickly, um, we determined that when you see something that's written like this, right, so that, that means f of g, oh, no, I see I wrote fog. It looks like fog and I wrote fog. It means f of g of x. That's what this means, right, when you see something like this, or of two in this case, right, of two. So what that means is we're going to find the function value when you, why do I keep writing x? When you put two into g first and then take that value you get and put it into f, all right? So we're going to start with this and then we'll work with this. So the order always is you do this first, right? And then that value, once you find that, is going to go into F. All right. So if you got to like write notes all over everything to remember the order, that's fine. Just I think for me is just you're working backwards, right? You're working you're working the opposite way you probably think you should, all right? Unless you're one of those truly interesting thinkers. Um, so the first thing we do is because we're doing this G of two first, is we're going to take this function. So we're going to say we want to find G of two, right? And so what that means is you have x squared, right? So if we have g of x equals x squared, what we'll do is wherever we see x, we're going to put 2, and then we're going to square it, right? So 2 squared is 2 times 2, right? 2 times itself, 2 times, and then that equals 4. So this is what g of 2 is. g of 2 gives me a value of 4. And so now what I will do, so that's, that's step 1, right? And so now step two is going to be taking this and putting this value into my f function. So we have f of g of two, right? This is basically what we're doing. That's what we're finding. So when we do that, that's going to be um, my function is 3x, right? That's my f of x, right? f of x is this. So we're going to take this value and we're going to input it wherever x is. So the value of g of 2 is 4. So basically this is what we're doing. We're finding the value of 4. Okay, so let's take that. Let's put it in here. So we have 3 times 4 and that gives me 12. So it's that backwards working, backwards engineering that we want to remember for this. So the quick, the quick and easy is... 2 goes into the G first, becomes 2 times 2 because it's squared, 4. That's your new value. You take that, and now you put that into this, and you have 3 times 4, and then you get 12, right? So that's the quick, the quick of it. All right, G of F of 2 is the same kind of thing. The only difference is we're reversing the order now. We're, we're saying we want to find this. We want to find G of F of X, right? And in this case, we're going to use 2. So we have to find f of x first, right? f of x is 3x. And so if we are going to find f of 2, right, you're going to use this function right here, and we're going to put 2 into it. So we're going to go 3 times 2, and that's going to give us 6. And so we now have f of 2, all right? And so if we're going to find g of f of 2, right? That means we're going to use this function now, right here, x squared, and we are going to substitute our value in. So we're going to actually do g of 6, right? That's what we're doing. So if we have x squared, it becomes 6 squared, all right? And that's the same as 6 times 6, and you get 36, okay? So I think it's, again, you're still working backwards, even, even when they're like, uh, you know, what are you, what are you doing? You know, we're going to switch it around here on you and, and be all clever. You just work backwards, right? If it's written in this notation, start here, figure this out first, and then put it in there. Okay, so that's, that's the easiest, most direct way I can think of to explain this. Okay, and any other examples you do of this are going to basically be the same kind of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here so it's nice, short and sweet. We'll make one more for you um, regarding the notes.